Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to do a green smoky eye for you. This is perfect for those of you that have brown eyes. Now I find that when I wear this look, I get so many compliments. I feel like my brown eyes just really pop. For those of you that are looking for colors to make your brown eyes pop, green is one of them. I'll kind of zoom in here so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. My eyes just look really super brown with these colors on. So this is the look that I'm going to do for you guys today. So if you're interested in seeing how I put my look together, oh, and I am, I'm not using all MAC today, surprise, surprise. I am using this Sonia Kashuk palette. It is the jewel of an eye palette. I love it. The colors are beautiful. Hopefully you guys agree. Uh, for those of you that are wondering, the palette is, I think I said it in the video somewhere, but it is $15.99 and it's available at Target. The colors are gorgeous. So if you'd like to see how I used this palette to get today's look, keep watching. It's coming right up. So I'm going to start with a little bit of my oil control lotion, and this is from MAC. And there are several different brands that carry lotions like this. So um, I would suggest if you're not sure where to start, just go to a counter anywhere, like a MAC counter or Sephora, and try out a bunch of samples of lotions that will help to control oil on your face. Okay, and then for my foundation, I'm actually going to use a BB cream, and MAC just recently released new shades of BB creams. For those of you that shop at MAC frequently, you know that there were only three shades available in the BB creams. It was extra light, light, and then light plus. But now they have shades such as medium, and it goes all the way to, I believe it is deep dark. So my shade is medium, so I'm going to go ahead and put some of this on. Now I wore this the other day and realized that I needed to pair this with some kind of oil control lotion. My face did not stay shine free very long. So I'm actually just going to put this on with my fingers. It's going to kind of dot it around. Um, if you prefer to use a brush, obviously use a brush. And after just putting it on for the second time, I realized that maybe applying it with a brush would be a little bit better. Once you put it on your face, in my opinion, it feels that you have to work a little bit fast to sort of blend it into your skin. It almost feels like it dries pretty quickly. So maybe using a brush and then just dotting it in the places where you're going to, to work it in would be a better idea as opposed to dotting it all over like I did. For those of you that don't know, this has an SPF of 35 in it. So, so far so good. My face looks um, pretty matte. Yesterday when I put it on, it didn't look as matte as it does now, so I would definitely suggest pairing it with some kind of oil control lotion if you have issues with oil. Okay, now as far as coverage goes, it's a very, very light coverage. Um, it just sort of evened my skin out. I can still see a lot of freckles on my face, which I don't mind my freckles at all. I don't mind if my freckles show through. but. There's little areas on my face where I do have a few red, like, broken capillaries. And even when I use my face and body, I still feel like I get more of an evening out to my skin. So for those of you that really like, even if you just like some light coverage or just enough to make your skin tone even, you may want to pair this, maybe just in the areas where you need it, with something like... Uh, a powder foundation or even a foundation that has just a little bit of a heavier coverage. For me, if I were going to do that, it would be in this area here. So when I'm all done, I'll go over it with my Studio Fix powder just to show you guys how you can use the BB cream in conjunction with other foundations. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fill in my eyebrows and I was able to get a sample of the Anastasia brow pencil which I've never used before. This is all over Instagram. Anastasia is sending like all the big wigs on Instagram, um, all sorts of Anastasia products. So I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and try it out and see what I think. I've been on, in, I've been on uh, YouTube now for almost three years, and I've never been sent anything before. I think it's funny because, uh, like for me, I don't, want, I don't want the hassle of having to deal with a lot of hate from people. It seems like the more popular you become, the more of a target you are for that sort of thing. And so far, I've pretty much managed to steer clear of that. I do get comments here and there, but nothing significant, nothing like some of the bigger gurus here on YouTube get. So I'm actually okay with the fact that I don't even have 4,000 subscribers. Well, actually, I haven't checked my YouTube lately, but 
the last I checked, I haven't. I don't even have 4,000 subscribers. Um, and like I said, I don't get sent anything for free. Not here on YouTube, not on Instagram. I don't get anything, which is okay. But I saw a picture today on Instagram. Some girl, she was sent so much stuff from Anastasia. I couldn't believe it. Like, a ton of stuff to just review. And I'm thinking to myself, how much reviewing does Anastasia need? Like, I know here on YouTube, they get a lot of reviews from some of the, the more popular gurus. So, anyway, I thought that I would go ahead and give their, her eyebrow pencil to try. So this one is an ultimate brown and it's just a little pencil. This is what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and fill my brows in with this. I'm thinking maybe I should have gotten a little bit of a darker color but we'll see once I have it blended. Hi Daisy. I've learned to just keep my bedroom door open when I'm making videos because Daisy just busts in all the time and if I lock my bedroom door she will hit the door until I let her in. And the funny thing is it's like she doesn't stay in here very long. I just feel like she doesn't like closed doors. Which is kind of strange because she's a dog. Okay I'm going to go ahead and use a brush here to just kind of comb the pencil through and so far it looks pretty good. I think the color like I said might be a little light for me so what I might do is just run a little bit of a darker powder through. This is kind of like it looks like a caramel brown color but it's not horrible. I mean if I if I had to leave it I think I could and it wouldn't look completely unnatural but um, I don't want it too too light yeah I think I'm gonna just run a little bit of a powder through I'm just gonna use a dark eyeshadow a darker eyeshadow and just pop it through here Okay, for eyes, we are going to use this palette. <clears throat> this is a Sonia Keshek palette. This is Jewel of an Eye palette, and I think the colors are just, they're gorgeous. Uh, if you're friends with me on Instagram or Twitter, you already saw this. I think the palette is amazing. The colors are just, they're so vibrant. I hope that the camera is able to pick up the colors here. I just think they're gorgeous. Um, this palette was $15.99, I believe. So what we're going to use today are the green colors. I might combine uh, these two here. I'm not sure yet, but I want to do something with the greens. Uh, for those of you that have brown eyes, green looks amazing on brown eyes. That's just my opinion. I will probably use a mix of MAC, a little bit of MAC with the Sonia Kashuk, um, just because there are certain colors that I know will absolutely work. And trying to go through my collection right now to try and find the perfect brown color as far as like drugstore goes. Um, it was a little bit of a task. I gotta fix my camera here. For my base, I'm gonna use a little bit of this. And this has quickly become one of my favorite paint pots ever. It is Antique Diamond. And sometimes I feel like I'm a little colorblind because people will look at this and they'll say, that doesn't look green to me. But when I look at it, it looks green I don't know you guys tell me but it looks green to me I don't know I guess it, it could have like I don't even know it, it looks like an olive color to me if you have this and you don't think it's green tell me what you think the color is so I'm gonna put my paint pot on with this brush here and most of you know but this is one of my favorite brushes for applying paint pots it is a little cheapo brush from Rite Aid it's a synthetic duo fiber brush and it works awesome for cream products. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on my lid. And I'm just going to go lightly with this. I'm not going to go too heavy. Uh, with paint pots like this, this that have some glitter to them, if you go too heavy, it can start to look cakey and be really difficult to blend. So always start light with the paint pots. They have a little bit of glitter in them. Okay, so paint pot is on. For now, I'm just going to keep the color on the lid. I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything along the lower lash line yet. I'm just going to kind of wing it. 
So I'm going to apply a little bit of saddle into my crease and this is what saddle looks like. This is a MAC color and this is a great crease color. This blends out anything. It works well with anything and, and when I say anything I mean any color. Purple, pink, everything. It goes well with everything. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of that into my crease. So I'm just lightly or slightly tilting my head back. Just going back and forth here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and apply my eyeshadow color. And I'm going to start with this green right here. Take it on this eyeshadow brush. And when I when I apply my or when I pick up eyeshadow, I usually place the brush in and I just go in little circular motions um, to really push the product in and then I tap off some of the excess. Now so far, I think the color is really pretty. I am however getting quite a bit of fall down. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But the color is beautiful. It's like an emerald green. Definitely looks like a jewel type color. I'm not getting as much fall down on this side, so I may have picked up too much color from my other eye. Beautiful. Beautiful color. Okay. Just going to sort of blend out this top edge here. Okay, the next color I'm going to use is this one here. This color is going to go into the outer corner. I'm going to take that brush and just blend over. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and use a black because I feel that that color is not dark enough. So I'm just going to lightly use a matte black color. Any matte black that you have. I'm just going to press this in out here. And then blend. Now I'm going to take a little bit more saddle and apply that right into my crease here. So there, I think that's really pretty. And of course I forgot to like zoom in while I was doing this so hopefully you guys can see that. I am going to put a little bit of a highlight color in here. I'm going to use nylon. This is what nylon looks like. I'm going to use a little pencil brush here. I'm going to take a little bit of a uh, flesh tone color just under my eyebrow here. And I also want to sort of soften up this dark line. So I'm using a brush I hardly ever use, which is the MAC 224. I use that one mainly for applying powder underneath my eyes. So you can see I do have some fall down. I guess it's not so bad. Okay, I'm just going to clean up under my eye. I think what I'll do is, at the end of the video... I will apply some green along the bottom. We'll make it more of like a smoky look. And for now, I think I'm just going to, I think I'll apply a little bit of liner. I'll just do kind of like a thin layer. And I'll use some gel liner on a MAC 266 brush. I'm just switching brushes, and this is an Ulta eyeliner brush. I'm just going to clean up a little bit. Uh, for those of you that are just watching this video and you're not familiar with my channel, 
um, what I do is when I need to clean up, like if I've made a mistake with my eyeliner, I take a little bit of eye makeup remover, put it on a paper towel, and I use a flat eyeliner brush. And in this case, this is a MAC 212. I saturate the, breast, the bristles, and then I just go right along the edge to either sharpen it or clean it. Okay, finishing up with skin, I'm going to go ahead and conceal. I'm going to use a little bit of my Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. This is definitely uh, one of my favorite concealers. Um, it was a good call on Sarah's part. We were at the store a few months back and she was like, you know, I saw this on YouTube and everyone was raving about it. And to be honest, since I started this job, I don't have a whole lot of time to watch YouTube videos, which is unfortunate because... I really feel like I'm kind of missing out on a lot of really great videos. Um, a lot of you that are friends with me here on YouTube and Instagram and Twitter, you guys make videos and I would love to be able to watch them, but my time is so limited anymore. I'm kind of hoping that's going to change here very soon. I'm just going to go ahead and apply a little bit of this around my face. Now, um... What I was saying earlier about the BB cream, you may need to use a little bit more concealer on your face in places where you really feel like you need some extra help. Like for me, it's down the center of my face, my chin, um, my nose. Okay, what I'm doing is using my Real Techniques brush and I'm just buffing my face. Buffing the concealer in, because like I said, I went over my nose, my chin, and I just want it to look nice and smooth, like it's supposed to be there. Okay, so I'm going to use a little bit of my Mineralized Skin Finish over the top of the BB cream and the concealer. And I'm just using this on a flat powder brush. This is my Sonia Kashuk brush. I'm just going to press this in. The Mineralized Skin Finish does offer some coverage. Minimal, but there is some coverage. So I'm thinking that in conjunction with the BB Cream, uh, for those of you that don't need a whole lot of coverage, you could probably use the BB Cream, and then if you needed a powder, just use like a little bit of a Mineralized Skin Finish. So I'm going to use this. I haven't used this in a really long time. It is my Too Faced, the Bronzed, and the Beautiful palette. And I'm going to use the little Kabuki. And this is Sun Bunny. So I'm going to use some of that all over my face just to sort of bronze up a little bit. And I'm going to do something that I never do and just lightly go over my entire face. Just using a big fluffy brush. And I'm going to take that <clears throat> big fluffy brush into Sun Bunny and take it down my neck. The reason that I switched to the fluffy brush is to kind of blend in that bronzer more. I like the little kabuki that it comes with, but I just want to make sure that it's nicely blended in with a bigger fluffy brush. Pink Leopard, one of my favorite sort of like bronzer slash blushes. I'm gonna put this on, and when I hit pan on this, I'm definitely replacing it because I do love it. I'm kind of putting this on the back of my cheeks here. Okay, I'm going to use a little bit of my Too Faced Candle Light. This is a softly illuminating translucent powder. Just going to apply a small amount of this right here. Okay, for my lips, I'm going to use Blankety lipstick. That's what it looks like. I really like blankety. There's the color. Uh, and before I apply blankety, I'm going to line my lips with a little bit of Spice lip liner. That's what it looks like. A good dupe for Spice is Jordana's Rock and Rose lip liner. Okay, so we are done. Here's the lips. I like blankety. I think it's pretty. Now the one thing that I'm not used to looking at, and I don't know uh, if it's like the little viewfinder or what's going on, but 
I am not used to seeing bronzer all over my face like this. It almost feels like it's too much. So <clears throat> I'm going to take a little bit of powder. Just kind of down like the center of my face. I feel like it's too much. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit. Or I'm just going to go ahead and apply some color along my lower lash line. But this is what the eyes look like without. I think it's pretty. I think green looks really great with brown eyes. When I wear green to work, I get a lot of compliments. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and do that now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm done. I went ahead and applied some green to my lower lash line. I used Tarnish Eye Pencil from MAC, which is kind of like a black and green. It's one of my all-time favorite eyeliners. Uh, this is what it looks like. And like I said, it's called Tarnish. I've used this, I think, in like one or two other videos. So what I did was I put that on my waterline and I pushed it in between my lashes. And I took a 119 pencil brush, which it's just a regular old pencil brush and you can use any, which looks like this. I smudged the eyeshadow into my lash line. And then in the inner corner here, as you guys can see, I have switched it up a little bit and added... I really love that color. Look at how look at how brown my eyes look with this eyeshadow on. I think that green just really intensifies brown. It's just so pretty. Uh, for that inner quarter, I used a color called Bitter. I love this color. That's what it looks like. And it looks like on my little viewfinder over here, it's coming up yellow, but it's more of like a lime green. Um, I'll kind of hold these two together. This one is called Sunny Spot, and this one is definitely more yellow. So that one's Sunny Spot, and this one is Bitter. Just so that you guys can kind of see that there is a bit of a difference between those two. I love them. I love Lucky Green, too. Like I said before, I'm going through, like, there's Lucky Green. I'm going through some kind of green phase. I don't know, but I just love it. Anytime I wear this on my eyes, I get loads of compliments at work, so... It just works for me. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, for those of you that have brown eyes, go crazy with the greens because I think it just, I think it's beautiful. So let me know what you guys think of the video. If you've tried the BB cream, let me know what you think. Uh, if you have any other questions, as always, leave them in the comments below. Now, I am very, very slow to respond to comments and I do apologize. Um... I get to it when I can. It's not that I'm putting anyone off or I don't want to respond. That's not it at all. I just, my hours at work are kind of nuts. For those of you that work in retail, you know, the hours can be strange, like 12 to 9.30. I mean, by the time I get home, I take a shower, I eat something, and then I go to bed. So if you've left a comment and I haven't responded, trust me, I'm not ignoring you. I will get to it. It just might take me a little bit of time. So thank you guys so much for your patience. Have a great day, and I will see you later. Bye.